how do we send emails from within our workflows? So in this app, I have this um, button and behind this button, um, we've got this uh, action, which is send a uh, template email. Um, um, so you can find that action under the plugins. If I just find, if I just show you where that is, so if I go in here, just on this button here, um, if we go, we can find that under plugins, postmark, send template email, and this action has really quite detailed instructions of what to put in and what is optional and what is required. Um, if we look at this one. We can see um, we must supply either a template ID or a template alias. So the template alias is something you can get from uh, the template in here. So this password reset has an alias here of password reset, kind of at least really clear. Um, and there's some required fields. The to and the from are required fields. Remember if you're in testing mode with uh, and your domain hasn't been authorized yet, you can only send to and from test email addresses which you have to set up under the, in the signature area under here. You have to set up in the signature area while you're in test mode. You just need to add a domain and you just need to add a domain and authorize a domain to get them so you can send from to any email address. But that's a separate thing. So while we're in test mode, you can only send to and from certain emails. Um, it's all documentation about what what these mean. Um, there's sensible default values for everything. Now, but the interesting ones are these sections in here. So um, the uh, postmark templates use these variables. So it's very likely if you're going to be using the postmark templates, you're going to be need need these variables. So they only get they very if doesn't matter if you put the variable the values in here and they don't get used in the template. However, if you miss a value in here and they are used in the template, it'll just be a blank value in the, in the email that event gets delivered and you don't want that. Um, so for the template, you need to ensure that you're using, you need to ensure that these uh, there's a value for these variables that are in the template. Um, and these ones are very common, are used all over in most of the templates. And these ones are used in the um, sign up email. And this one's in the, these ones are in invites. And you, here you put any number of custom variables. So slightly more advanced, you, will, you may want to put in some custom variable into your emails. This is how you can add, send those to SendGrid. And the second part of this is that, um, Once this email is sent, you can pick up some error codes and values from uh, the mess from from uh, the API call that's going on behind the scenes to send the email, uh, like the error code and so on. And what that looks like uh, when it's done is you can create a page like this, and uh, this is just an input field because I know this email address is. Uh, um, is one is an authorized uh, signature, and you send a text, send, invoke the button which invokes that workflow, which hits the action, which calls the method on the plugin, and this um, because of capturing the all the return messages from Postmark and putting them on here, I can see message OK, and this is the in the debug that's returned from the plugin. You can see all the underlying details of uh, what what the API call was that was made, and uh, that's that's the that's sort of end to end.